Apart from minimal allocation to the agricultural sector, politicization of distribution of subsidized farming inputs is one of the major challenges facing farmers in Kazano State. For some years now, farmers across the state are seeing subsidized farming inputs has disappeared, and even where there is little to share, the real farmers are mostly not among the beneficiaries. Kazano State is producing more than 60% of cotton in Nigeria, but the farmers are saying there is need for adequate sensitization about government policies and programs, and also farmers should be involved in the designing and implementation of agriculture-related issues. They outlined some of their challenges. Our insecurity has been one of the major challenges. Then in the last two years, we experienced drought in the northwest and some part of northeast. And likewise, this year, there is a terrible flood in the country, which is not only affecting cotton, but affecting all agricultural commodities. And then apart from, apart from that also, there is lack of mobilization on the federal government programs like Uncle Boros program, which CBN has been championing. Because of lack of mobilization, so the utilization and proper use of the opportunity is being abused. So, and a lot of other challenges which government should even come in. When you talk of insurance also, there is no adequate payment or compensation. Dr. Omar El Ladan of the Federal University of Zama is calling on both the federal and the state governments to review the growth enhancement strategy for proper and sustainable implementation. You look at agricultural transformation agenda, which is part of, which is one of the clear, clear policy that brought agriculture up in this country, especially with this growth enhancement strategy that provided so many input to the farmer in a sustainable way. So I think maybe my advice is to the federal government is to look at especially with about 80% of the Nigerian farmer are small-scale farmer cultivating less than two hectares per, they need an input for them to develop. So this growth enhancement strategy program that was conducted years back, let them review, um, if there is a loophole, let them control it. A Kazana-based budget analyst, Amin Ibrahim, is calling for the allocation of a minimum of 10% of the annual budgets of both the federal and state governments to the agricultural sector. He also called for gender sensitivity in the allocation to farmers. We've been seeing repetitive budget line in the annual budget, not only the agri sector, but agri sector specifically is having duplication of budget line. And even the budget line that is duplicated you, may, you hardly have a relevant uh, activity that can be used for monitoring and evaluation of the execution of the budget. Then there is also the gender responsiveness of the budget. Definitely the uh, women sector should have a relevancy in the budget provision of the government. The ongoing security challenges in Kazano State, coupled with the lack of proper attention, to the sector by the relevant authorities are leading to the drastic reduction in agricultural production. Awal Ibrahim, Arise News.